Right. Now that the forest is nice and populated with large trees and small foliage, now's the time I'd like to add a little bit of um, a background animating colour um, in the form of small animating bushes, which um, will give life to the scene when the player isn't moving. When the player is moving, um, it doesn't matter so much when the player stops, it's nice to have something going on somewhere in the scene. And so we'll do that now. If you go to your Add New Entity, to your Foliage folder, and find something with a bracket animated after its title. Now I want a small bush or a flower, um, so I will pick this, Flower 14 Animated. So bring it into the scene, and I place it down, and come out up to it, you can see it's got a slight animation to it. Um, if you hover the mouse over to its selected state, it will stop animating and resume once you let it go. Now, just like all the other entities, if I try to extract this and move it somewhere, it will remember the level, which is up here, which is not very good. So, I will delete that and come down to my forest floor and select it from the sidebar so it finds the floor and start placing them down little places. So I'll pop one there. Remember to hold down shift to um, keep it on your cursor until the last one when you can place it down and remove it from your cursor. So I'll put one maybe there and put one there and the um, there I'll put one here. Now you don't want to overload your scene with these because you don't want too many background animators because to be on a scene for a few seconds and it's a waste of resources to have everything just swaying around in the scene. But just one or two scattered around here and there, as I said, we'll give it a bit of life. Um, now I like to put these next to or nestle them in things because that's that's where this kind of thing would grow, so in the shade of a tree. So we'll test game and see what that looks like. So, in my scene, I can see it down there, just twinkling away. One there's one there. Very nice. So the grass is giving a nice little breeze and this is kind of um, complimenting it too. So maybe we can put something else in there, like a small tree or a sapling. So, we'll find one. Uh, palm, pine, too tall. Uh, flower, too small. Bush. Yes, animating bush. That's a bit too flurry. This is nice and scraggy. We'll have that. Oh yeah, it's perfect. What does it look like? That'll do nicely. Okay, we get rid of that. Grab one from the cursor and put them near the path. Maybe. There we go. And one a bit further in, just there. And maybe a couple over here. By the water side. Yeah. And there, and one there. Okay. That should be nice enough. So let's have a look what that looks like. Uh, test game. Wait for it to load. And we'll, um... Have a look for these... Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> See, that's how good it is. I did, even I didn't notice it, and I just placed it down. Oh, that's good, that. There we are. Because it's just a nasty extra bit of depth, you know. The, the grass is little and floating, the flowers are nice and nestled away, and you got these things just freezing away like that. So that's nice. I'll have a look at the ones by my lake. Flower, you know. Um, where did I put them now? Where did I... Good. Excellent. 
Now I would say that's a nice finished forest. Well no. There's more you can do. You could spend you could spend hours just building up layers and layers, but for the purposes of this series, this tutorial, this is absolutely fine. The next job would be to get some man-made structures in here. Um, which will be the focus of the next video. And I will have a small camp here, next to the water's edge. And a larger village over there, by the rooty tree. Um, hmm. So, we'll see you next time.